We've got some breaking news. FBN is getting new details on the president's corporate tax plan, and Charlie Gasparino has the latest. Charlie. Yeah, and you know, uh, Charles, this kind of segues into the infrastructure uh, conversation, health care infrastructure tax cut conversation you were having. This is what we do here from sources inside the White House. We should point out that the White House is not denying this, uh, that the corporate tax cut plan that Trump has, that he proposed to taking it down from 35 percent to 15 percent, what we hear from White House aides is in flux, and that Trump is considered a deemed repatriation of offshore profits instead. That means you bring in your offshore profits, they get taxed at a lower rate, something like 10 percent, and that would help pay for infrastructure. A portion of that would help pay for infrastructure. So what we understand is that the repatriation, again, would be, cut, would be taxed at 10 percent, it would be, at least this is one of the, the talking points and the proposals that the White House is looking at, it would be an alternative to the big corporate tax rate plan that uh, Trump proposed during the campaign and has been talking about until recently. Now, here's the rub here. The markets like the 15, taking the corporate tax cuts down from 35, ta tax rates from 35 to 15, uh, but Trump has competing agendas. He wants to build infrastructure. And he does need money for that. One way to do that. And he doesn't have a lot of money to do it, right? Because he's, always, he's saying that without the health care savings, I have to roll back my expectations on, on tax cuts. So this is one way they believe, uh, an interesting way, a creative way to get somewhat of a corporate tax cut, even though the market will know that it's not a corporate tax cut, uh, and help pay for infrastructure. You, re, you deem the repatriation, you basically force repatriation of corporate profits overseas, tax it not at 35 percent, but at 10 percent, and a portion of that money is, is used, particularly the savings from what I understand, to fund some sort of an infrastructure fund where they would build roads and bridges and almost uh, kill two birds with one stone, two Trump birds with one stone. So where would Pay that leave corporate taxes? The, the rates would be unchanged? The, 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 from this proposal, now we should talk about this as a talking point. Again, this gets back to our earlier conversation, they don't have a plan. But from what I understand, this would replace, at least in one of the scenarios, this would replace that dramatic corporate tax cut plan that he had, the 35 to 15. You instead would settle for something marginal, a deemed repatriation. You can bring back the money. You don't get taxed at 35 percent. You get taxed at 10 percent. Plus some of those savings right. go in there to pay for his infrastructure right. plan. This is one of the things on the table. Uh, it, we'll have to see what happens. As you know, this would have massive ma market repercussions. The markets like the big corporate tax cut. That's why we have Dow 21,000. Yeah. But it would also serve some political issues for Trump infrastructure. And yes, some bow to let's cut, let's start right. beginning to cut corporate taxes. All right, Charlie, thanks a lot for that breaking news. Uh, and I would let the audience know 15% uh, would be a 12% boost to the bottom line instantly. 20% uh, would be a 9% boost. And that's why Charlie says Wall Street wants it. It's instant, instant earnings growth.